this is the artifact that I'm going to be exploring in the next few videos. I didn't show a picture as a whole. Mostly I've been using the lid. It's interesting that it's on a curved surface too. Um, the entire box. Um, everything about it has meaning. It's one of those things that you don't really see around. You see these golden masks and all this fancy stuff, but um, there's another throne. It's like really hard to find that I'm going to be using in some descriptions. They'll show you the golden throne, but obviously the one I freaking want to analyze is like oh. Can't find it anywhere, <laughs> so I had to go to some book and take a picture of it. So I've got it. <laughs> it's cool. I can use it to describe some things. Seems I've got a lot of explaining to do. Start doing these videos and mentioning things, and then um, yeah, I have to. It deserves further explanation. So you can kind of see the panels that I've been analysing have been so what going from this one I've been getting onto this this front panel here where my cursor's moving around on. Um so I was looking at what oh, I dropped something. I mentioned the two one way bridges. Um it's a term I plopped from uh, the sorcery of uh, Don Juan from the books of Carlos Castaneda. Um, so I showed these animals. <clears throat> so the movement of the body and the others is in forward. Well, when we're looking at motion, it's really backwards left to right we see this other animal moving in this direction um, but it's kind of split um, you can kind of see there's more depth to the previous one and more light so see something going straight ahead in a um, more light filled direction this one's quite dark um, and uh, yeah, interesting behavior. There's the two animals in this are facing the same direction, but this one is facing the other way. So it's like going in its own direction in reverse, in a way. So I mentioned there's two different species. Um, we're talking fertility since the whole box represents different forms of fertility um, from the human to the animal to the hidden fertility systems of the divine and continuing their bloodlines are uh, beyond blood. Um, like a higher fertility beyond the physical goes I guess it would go into the physical too since we're going to look at some those physical components uh, external components especially when it talks okay so we've been looking at two sides um, so we're looking at two sides here and this rectangular thing it's a little TV scene there's other things that are squared off too and that contain little scenes we'll have a look at some of those um, so two one-way roads we'll call them um, uh, and we've been looking at the division in da Vinci's work too so we've analyzed that the core of this code and in different uh, cultures and societies around the globe keeps, um, especially the further back you go, 
um, keeps the core of this coat. I've already shown with shows the double bangs, you know, from Egypt to Samaria, and and it's including. So when you look at this box, um, there's nothing about it that's overly Egyptian. When you look at like even this, like what's really, if you took it out of the context of Egypt, like where the hell's it from? And, um, the deities on it, the characters are kind of give an Egyptian appeal, but not really. The main one does a bit, but but not really. So it's a mix, mixture of cultures. It's showing it's beyond culture. It transcends this um, what what they're trying to convey here, and most probably timeless as well. Okay, so just to show the division on um, the two sides once again. Okay, but another thing I mentioned was the flyers. So we have like here we have the double double being as I mentioned. Um, this is I think some Sumerian trip. You can see there's another head here. And on this one too, he's split. And um, so this guy, you know, it's an Egyptian thing. The closest concerts always have a hand on them. Here, there's none of that shit. But we see these. There's a division in um, even amongst their own people concerning the smaller entities which are also split which represent us we see this happy spirit here is not split is not split but he does have you see these hats also this is something connecting to their cerebrum and it's on this side it's most likely you can see represented maybe not in that one so much once again, they have their flyers with them, and the back of the head, the neck, where these entities are connecting. Not always in physical form. So they both have, and we can see the different sides of awareness that their flyers are connected to. So he's got his right arm there, so left arm connected to the right side of awareness possibly I'm not going to go into the perspectives on that right now I've covered different things but it goes they combine like you know consciousness like this is obviously one where it's when it comes to fertility the different leg got a leg up on some animal so they're using and we have got remnants of like animal viruses in our system ourselves as human beings like yeah so there's some animal genetics definitely being included in their setup but it's not a standard practice all around there's a division these practices um, okay so it was a so you have the flyers there's a bigger version of it they're the ones with those weird watches so they do emerge at certain times themselves like uh, like timed earth movements I was describing as shown in these Got these like weird watches. Um, so in we have a flyer. He's got like watery wings. So he's used. Um, one of my earliest vids, I showed how like their allies became these weird beings, and he sent his flyer after the human too. But he's got the good guys protecting him. 
Um, so he's survived when it comes to arcs and knowledge he's gained his deal is with the flies and his yeah 